What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or you can catch me online as always at www.whatsupinthesky.com and join the many people browsing right this minute. So uh, that was not the Monday Night Football game I expected from the Redskins but then again it, I am a Redskins fan with season tickets so I get what <laughs> I get the Redskins. Now Thank you to Carol for sending this wonderful picture in that I totally missed. And there's about five things, six things, seven things, eight things, nine things, ten things on this one picture that just add up to something awesome. So what looked to be um, basic, uh, this picture's got numbering. And if you're looking at it right now, you're looking at something that looks like we've got one, maybe one, three, two, two, zero. I'm not sure. Or we've got maybe a one and a dash. But what looks like some writing on that rock I think we could all agree that probably looks like some writing and possibly even numbers that was a good catch I'm not sure I looked online to see if there's anywhere else but I haven't seen it yet now also in this picture too amazing things things like this right here that uh, this looks to be uh, to be honest with you you're gonna see things here that look like uh, great are like perfect squares or perfect uh, but look to be cut out mate like maybe let's just say your roof were to fall off your house and you're looking down in on it and then you took mud and dirt and piled it up to the roof and uh, and basically you had this roof where you could see down into it and you get things you get these right angles like this and uh all sorts of weird stuff in this picture i've got it up in photoshop in the back and i'm going to show you there but what i want to do first is i'm going to show you the whole picture here and uh we're going to take a look at it over on Chrome, show you where to get it. As always, I did not Photoshop this. It is, it is totally legit. I run this operation uh, <laughs> not too smoothly and not too wonderfully, but it's definitely legit. I put pictures there. All right, so you can check it yourself out. I see what I see. You see what you see, and from there we'll uh, we'll talk, have fun, comment below, let me know what you think. You know. So let's see here, Photoshop. Uh, and before I go on with this, I just want to give a shout out to my buddy last night at the Reds. We all. We went to the Redskins game last night, and uh, my buddy passed away on the way home. He was in an accident. He, uh, I didn't get a chance to see him last night, but Nick, buddy, much love to you, man. Uh, hail to the Redskins. Your family will miss you, your friends. You're a wonderful guy, um, and I'm sure we'll get a chance to give you more of a shout-out than just some stupid YouTube video about Mars. But anyway, um, back to it. Like I said, that's kind of bummed me out, guys. So if I don't sound my usual chipper self, um, that's a little bit why. So, it wasn't just the Redskins, but on this picture now, you see I colored some stuff, and, and also on this picture, not only do we have these numbering, we have what looks to be the best cut, the most precise, smoothest, rounded shape cut I've seen so far on Mars when it's been polished smooth. Um, see this over here? It, everything I colored is kind of just like a little anomaly to me. I started doing that so you guys could see through my eyes right away. So when you go get the picture, you can kind of have something to say, oh, maybe that was different. Um, now, if you want to send me a picture, send it to me. Let me know what you think, you know, where it is on the picture. But if you have the ability to circle stuff, like I got buddies on here who can circle things and send me pictures, do that. But Carol found this one. She, she uh, didn't remember finding it on a website. She did a great job here. She's pretty bad. I'm much pleased with this picture. So let me go ahead and let's kill the color. And we'll go back to that number in a second. But I want to go here first and take a look at this. Um, what looks to be one of the best shaped image. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and do this all together. This is—I got a lot of memory on here. I'm not running a bunch of stuff. We're gonna make the image size 300, which is gonna make this huge. But that's gonna make it look a lot nicer on my screen since I've got the iMac 27. Um, now let's see here. Let's get it to actual pixels. No, I want to fit the screen. Get it back to there so it fits the screen. What I want to do is we're gonna zoom in here, but we're gonna take a look right there and see if we can't do some auto the uh, auto enhancing. Actually we'll do this first. Let's get back to the first layer and then let's auto adjust it. See what Mars looks like to... See how <laughs> Photoshop just takes that ugly tint. It looks like the uh, they rover adds to it which I believe it's programmed to add something to it. Look at that. Look how much different that picture is from one to the next. Oop. One thing that's weird about Photoshop it does that. Alright ready? Check this out. Okay image. Let me back that out what I did. Look at that. Let me adjust for it. All I'm doing is hitting auto image. Oh, I gotta go back and hit this one again. Auto color. And basically, Photoshop is, you know, balancing the colors automatically. And there you go, right there. So let's take a look at this down here. Would I see this perfectly cut 
thing back here it's got a crease in it it was cut and even comes to a perfect it thins out at the top and it looks like this would just go down and continue on this looks like some sort of fascia or something um, I wonder if we could do some some exposure some gamma brightness stuff like that let's see what we could do here bring it out What do you guys think about that? I think that was one of the best cuts I've seen so far. Now, there is all sorts of stuff on this picture. This is one of those, uh, I think, Holy Grail type Mars pictures I'm going to be coming back to for a while. Um, you know, so much so where if you just look at the symmetry of everything, like I said, it just looks like a building that has been you know, tossed around. This looks to have some sort of water on it. Now, and also down here, check out these really sparkly things. This looks like some sort of CD or something like that. Check that out. That definitely looks like some sort of metal disc, and up here, when you add, when you when you take it and normalize the color, look how look how much it looks like that could be something just sitting here on the Earth somewhere. I wonder if we could do that to the whole picture. Let me go ahead and step backwards and get that color off there. Step backwards, step backwards, step backwards. Sorry to be doing this on the video. <laughs> so let's see here. All right, so let's take this. You know what? Let's just take the whole thing and do it. This this whole picture is awesome. I say instead of taking off little chunks of it, because I'm already getting deep into this video, I know it. I just want to play with the uh, gamma on the whole thing. See this down here? Let me pump it up so we can see it a little better. Oop! Oh, which I got to do? I got to shut that in order to do it. All right. So we're going to focus on this right here, which looks to be some sort of machinery with metal, and we're going to look right there. So we're talking, this is one of those picks, I'm, I'm, if you have this up as a YouTube video already, sorry, I'm not taking credit for it, this lady's awesome, she found a great picture, I don't know how I missed this, if I, if I would have saw this one, I hopefully would have caught these, these are some pretty cool anomalies, and what finally looks to be some sort of blackish material that's not, it doesn't look like rock to me, it looks like some sort of metal-y, plastic -y stuff, but if you can see that, that sure does look like metal, ooh, that's a nice, a nice bright exposure, um, let me see if I can do an auto tone on the whole thing. What? Uh, not that much better. Let me just do an overall. If I drop the brightness, play with the contrast. Just cool stuff. I just noticed that before this one even started. I don't even think I put the blue on that. But and let's go back and look at this number real fast, and then we'll let you guys go. And I will be back to this picture because there's a lot more in it. But let's see if this one I will take off and do this all right adjustments exposure I want to mess with the gamma it pulls it out and also look at the symmetry behind it that it pulls out in the actual in the well it looks like when it's kind of blurred out it just kind of looks like random stuff look at the circles and stuff and it's just very interesting texture for the rocks and the ground behind it it looks to be a one maybe something there I mean that definitely looks like writing it looks, looks like it was either written on it or chiseled into it um, you know what do you guys think let me know below as always comment do everything you do you guys rock like I said I got some of the best subscribers it's just a little group of us but I say for about 3,000 people and subscribers and you know the there's about 20 of you that really interact with each video you guys all rock let me show you again what some of the stuff that I hit and uh, let's see where I met in this video eight minutes Let's see, we got time to take a look at a couple more of these. Let's get to 10, 11. Once you start getting there, it starts getting pretty big. But if you can see, a lot of this stuff here has holes in it. Just looks to be, uh, let's see, like, let me just go back to that one thing I was talking about earlier where, ooh, look at that. Look how perfect that one is. Um, let me drop the color off of it. Let me pull it back. This right here, check this thing out. That's very interesting looking to me. Okay, look how like everything's texturized. See this thing that's coming up? It just looks like something that was destroyed by some sort of bomb. This whole area just looks like it was destroyed. Okay, here we go. Right here. Right out in front of here. Check. See how I colored it purple? This is, looks like just like a rail for something. Like something that, like a box top or something that would sit on. Here, let me go ahead and take it off so you can see it. Now, these right here were not put by the rover. That's, that's, uh... Tim, that's definitely not a rover shot because look, there's no, it's not going up to it anyway or anything. Um, it wouldn't have had an opportunity to get through here. 
you know, curiosity wouldn't have wouldn't have uh, put the risk up for that. Now, also, there's also some really sharp, bright things down here. See that bright thing right there? That's right next to this. I would pretty much wager that that's some sort of uh, sparkly metal, some sort of uh, either that or it's like a quartz or something like that. But this is one of the most interesting ones I've seen in a while. Carol, you rock. Look at this up here. I mean, this is just going to be hundreds. I think I'm just going to break it down video by video, and this is going to be one I'm going to work on. I still haven't even gotten the rock nest, people. I thought I. There's just so much out there. I can't believe how much is there. Look at that. If that doesn't look like just cartoon alien, <laughs> it's crazy. Let's see here. This is definitely one of those ones I'm excited about. It said, uh, oop, that's not what I wanted with the gamma. We start messing with that game. Look how intricate that is. How it goes that square there. Let's see if I give it a little bit. Look at that. That is wild. And let me go through here one time. Let me do it to this guy right here. Brightness, exposure. Give it some gamma. And of course, my eyes, what they're doing to that picture right there, they're put an eye eye mouth it looks kind of like a thing but that's most likely just random there um, look how this comes up this 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 stuff here this block right here looks manufactured I mean it's pretty hard this right here has a base to it oh there was another one over here that had a base to it I saw it too right here look at this one right here let's do that one this has got a hole in it let's see layer adjustments exposure See, look when I bring those. See how perfectly the rounded that is. You can see when they offset because of the shadow. I don't know, guys. I think this is a pretty cool catch you got here. From everything from here, look at this. This here looks like bent metal. All of it does. It just kind of looks like the top of a building, and maybe it was thrashed, and all sorts of dirt and stuff have blown over it. Let me look at this last, last little bit right here too. Because this right here looks like it was something as well, and that looks very intricate just to be. See, it's got one, two, three dots with the cross hatch pattern in there. Let's see. Yeah, see that coming up out of there? That's pretty cool. Let me zoom in on it for you so, so you can see if it's any better. Right there. This is one of those pictures I'll be looking at for a while, guys. Download it, Curiosity Rover. It's so small. You can get this picture, hardly take up any of your space. You can do it on your cell phones. Uh, most of these you can't. Like if it's a TIFF file, a lot of those you can't because it's just too big, but this is something you can do. So much love, guys. Take it easy. We will be back here. 13 minutes in. Rest in peace, Nick. Hail the Redskins. You know. I'm not a sore loser. You know, they got it handed to them yesterday. <laughs> Much love, guys. Check that little stone out there, too, that's been worked. Peace.